Hey everyone, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Flying in the face of 32-bit computing. Now that we have a 64-bit installed, I installed the B9 Aerospace Program, which should unlock a whole bunch of stuff. Is it under subsonic and stuff? Oh, whatever. It's not under subsonic, but got all kinds of B9 Aerospace stuff now. Uh, we ran a couple of missions just gathering science from around the Space Center. There's a lot of science around the Space Center if you take your time and just go out and get it. Uh, so we have some points to unlock some stuff, and I'm trying to think of... I know I want that stack separator for some of the small satellites that we're going to be dealing with. In fact, we shall purchase that. So the uh, general plan for today is we're going to go fly to the moon, because we have an, a mission to orbit the moon. So we're going to take pretty much a modified version of what we took out there before. Uh, it was a reasonably successful craft, and I think if I'm a little bit more careful, I modified it slightly. And I think if I'm a little bit more careful uh, with our launch, we should be good to go. To, what instruments does... Yeah, I put the new instruments on it, too, so we can gather some new science. Everything looks good there. Do we have, as part of B9, do we have... We do have the uh, separation retro boosters and stuff, so I'll have to start outfitting those on some of my ships. But... I also installed what's supposed to be some sort of patch to stop some sort of divide by zero error or something, zero rounding. That was probably what was causing my uh, parts to not get recovered, because it was kind of giving me gibberish uh, speeds that they were hitting the ground at, like, it looked like uh, the output of, a, of a, a hex editor, kind of. So I'm thinking that probably was the problem we were getting some sort of weird error with the math on that so hopefully that is fixed i'm liking everything here let's go ahead and pull up our what are the utilities that we have available utilities limit awesome so can it it can auto stage auto deploy solar panels can it limit our acceleration it doesn't seem like it can uh deal with what's it called uh terminal velocity and stuff but that's part of the other uh thing that we'll be getting now what did i want to do here delta v stats are up so we can kind of keep an eye on that i think we're good with all of our mech jeb stuff let's go ahead and turn on the stability and do one last visual check. Everything looks good to go. Let's do this thing. Why was there a big scary shadow that we went into? I don't know what that was. It seemed like we went into a big scary shadow. It was like my, my parachute couldn't have deployed or something stupid like that. But throttle down to around a third here course I can't actually see my fuel very well let's go ahead and just put that over that and jam you over there because we don't need that at this moment I will use that to actually execute the maneuvers now that we have the ability to do that it makes life a lot simpler get a little bit of a tilt going here if we can all right cool beans so we'll, we'll see what happens when these might just smash into each other I think they still might be smashing into each other actually so not entirely sure this is going to correct everything but now let's throttle up and all those parachutes I can visually confirm were deployed so if that doesn't recover correctly, I don't know what will. Just have to keep waiting for another update if that doesn't work. We need to start doing our gravity turn pretty seriously here. Picking up more altitude than I would like. With those solid rocket boosters burning at that level, it definitely takes a while before we get uh, good control of the ship. Alright, we're at 45. Let's keep going over. Everything is looking pretty nominal. This sounds spacey. I 
and they still all blew up. Well, it doesn't have the crazy looking text there anymore, but it still doesn't seem to be working correctly. Because I could see the parachutes had pre-deployed, and I don't imagine they failed. They used to always work, so... Don't know. Don't really care. For now, we'll just be losing money on every launch on recoverable parts. It's fine. As long as we keep completing some of those tourist missions, we can offset some of the losses and stuff anyway. Alright, so at this point, we're just trying to go downrange and pick up as much velocity as possible here. Since we're in the thin part of the atmosphere, this launch profile seems like it was a lot better. Yeah, this definitely seems like it's going much, much, much better. And I don't think we're going to quite get out of the, the atmosphere with this engine entirely. Well, no, we did. Excellent, I'm just going to keep burning until we run out of burn. Alright, so sayonara. Light that baby up. And create and execute. Let's do this. Why is that glowing like it's heating? I guess we are still technically in the atmosphere. That's weird, though. Weird, weird, weird. We took a very uh, shallow exit here. It's going to take a while before we get out of here. Now, what was I going to do? Go ahead and check. Pressure scan will high over Kerbin. Is that transmittable, I wonder? Which one is it? Log pressure data. Yeah, we'll have plenty of chances to do that. Although there, we're not going to have a chance to do that over the moon. There's no point in doing that over the moon. We will log that data. There's absolutely no point in doing that over the moon because nothing will show up. So, where's the door? Is it toggle sensors? Yeah. Those are not necessarily labeled in any sort of sensible way. Will you go away? Thank you. Now we should be able to do this one in a second. Radio plasma wave scan, atmosphere. We can do one in space. I didn't know we could do a pressure scan in space. That seems really silly. Well, we'll probably do another scan when we get to the MUN then so that we get credit for it because I will just have to remember to slap those on our tour ship. And This one should be able to be transmitted back, right? Yeah. can't transmit right now, can we? Well, we'll transmit that on the way out to the MUN. Actually, this would have been a good time to burn, but we'll hold off on that. So close that, because we don't want that right now. Let's go ahead and... Let's warp a little bit here. What is that? Oh, those are for uh, satellite missions that we have. Let's go ahead and get around to the other side of the planet. I'm going to be lazy. Let's set target. Um, home in... And create the node. And then I'm going to tweak this a little bit because I want to do some automatic braking. Let's pull this up so we see what we have. What's our delta V left? Quite a bit. I don't know that we'll be able to orbit the moon. Try to come in on the other side of the moon. God, this is awful trying to reach some of these settings over there. Alright, so which way? Burning that way does that. That brings us around the opposite side. Kind of inclined, but I don't know that I really care that much. Do we fix the inclination at all? No. Maybe if we burn. 
So how much Delta V do we have? This is going to use up much of what we have. We'll see. I wonder how much it would take to actually circulate that. I want to get closer to. Oh, wrong way. Hundred thousand. Let's try to bring it down to like. I would like to be at around thirty. Ah, so so twitchy. I could use a maneuver editor, but. Right, razor mouse. How much can you register a tiny movement here? Uh. Good enough. Execute. We're not really in the sun. That's unfortunate. How's our battery doing? It's still charging. It's fine. Remember to transmit that data at the earliest opportunity here. Can't see the Space Center yet. Space Center is going to be coming up. Maybe we'll be burning right over the Space Center. Oh, there's the Space Center. Not getting it this time. We'll have a few hours on the way out there to transmit our data before we get into high orbit and all that stuff. This engine is good to go. Okay, everything's working. It shouldn't take... I mean, it's going to take kind of a lot uh, if we want to get into a nice circular orbit. It's going to take kind of a lot of Delta V out there. We'll have to see. We're going to have like 600, a little more than 600 left, I think. Wish it wasn't quite so dark here. How is our result? A little low. I don't think we're going to smack into a mountain. But that is slightly concerning. Well, we'll give it the old college try here. Get. Can I hit like backspace? Yeah, backspace. Wait till uh, Space Center comes around here. So we can transmit our data back, and then we should be able to get another bit of science from this. Come on, Space Center. We'll start slowing down, and Kerbin will be able to catch up with us. It's hard to tell exactly where the Space Center is facing. Let's go a little more here. Alright, we should have line of sight now, right? Kind of seems like it. Let's give it a little bit more. That's pretty much got to be line of sight there. Okay, back to this. So, let's pop up the old available science doohickey thingy. And just stop the ship from moving. Go ahead and activate that. Uh, where's my sensor? Is this it? Materials bay. I am trying to click on this. There we go. Review data. Still transmitting? There. Transmit that back to Atmospheric pressure scan. I don't think like 
We get most of our science from doing that. Would you please stop selecting the shield? I really wish that the uh, science alert mod was working correctly with transmitting. It would make my life a lot easier. Oh, it's already done? I can't reset that one? Delete pressure data. There we go. Log pressure data. Yeah, so we only get nine back, but whatever, we'll take it. Better than nothing. Close that bad boy down. Alright, Mech Jeb. We have work to do. Let's just warp to there. What the heck kind of shenanigans is that? Alright, so what if... Where is my circularize? Circularize. Create node. At the periapsis. 200... I imagine we'll have enough to return to Kerbin still. We will have like 400 Delta V still. Let's be a little less crazy about this too. Because I don't like how low that orbit is. So what if I move it back? What in the world? It's. I'm going to try to make my own maneuver here. Okay, that just crashes us into the mud. We don't want to do it there. You know what? We'll do... We'll do that. It's scary low. But I don't feel like wasting any Delta V on anything else. But we probably have science to gather before we do that. Just in case we do die. Might as well get our science out of it. So, radio plasma. Log. Log the pressure data. Go ahead and do we have line of sight to the space center? Probably not. Yeah, we don't. So we'll have to hold on to that. Put that in our hat for the moment. That's fine. And I don't know how I always choose the wrong science bay log the data because then we can just transmit this from when we're actually in orbit hold on to that toggle that because the spaceship looks insane with that all popping out of it and is there any point in logging the temperature no there is not so toggle the sensors all right execute my node We are going to have to get a slightly more efficient ship for the future. Well, the moon looks strange right now. I guess it looks normal. It seems like there's a lot more of those smaller craters than I remember there being. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> well, we're getting a good look at it. There's going to be all kinds of science to be had here, too. Because we're going to be over every biome on the moon. We might have to stay for a few orbits and just transmit, transmit, transmit. Although we're always going to be on... The, we're going to be dealing with being on the wrong side of the curb and all that. I'm not going to bother with that until we actually have our relays set up. Because it's going to be too annoying, I think. We'll get a few science things, but it's just going to be too annoying. Yay! Okay, it doesn't look quite as scary as I, as I thought it was going to. So let's lock that off just so we don't wobble. All right, crew report. Where? God, I got a lot of buttons going now. All right, so that's just space. That's fine. That will be the same no matter what. Can't transmit anything at the moment. Serve the goo. Hold on to that. Toggle the bay try to get an oh, angle that I can actually see what I'm doing here. And we'll re 
return that. And we will return that as well. All right, come on. And I don't think I have any available, um, yeah, we have data still here. So I'm, I'm gonna orbit for a little bit. Actually, let's, let's do the EVA. Atmospheric pressure from near the moon. Yeah, let's do the uh, EVA real quick here. And then uh, I'm gonna wait for us to come around to the right side to be able to transmit some stuff back. And I'll be back once we do that. I'll probably do a few orbits gathering whatever stuff I can tolerate, but we need a relay system to really be able to send this stuff back. We're gonna be back here tons of times anyway, so make do. All right, so this time around, it looks like the Space Center will finally be aligned and we'll be able to transmit some science back. So let's go ahead and cut our warp. Are we, we're not clear of the mun yet. Can't do a lot of time warping where we are right here because we're at a low altitude. So let's go ahead and get our satellite fired up here. And review data. How's our power situation here? It seems like it's all right. Uh, review data, boom. You know, I'm wearing headphones. That is actually kind of annoying noise. We'll keep that pressure data. Re ah. Review data, we'll hold. Should we hold onto that? Let's transmit it back because we can get more From right here. And where is my last sensor? There. No, that is not it. Is this one? There. Didn't I already do this? I thought I had some stored that I needed to transmit. Apparently, I was mistaken. All right, so at this point, let's plot our triumphant return. Close this bad boy down for now. So we're probably going to want to burn somewhat near, I don't know where. It's going to be a learning experience. Ah. Well, this is going to be kind of a close burn, actually. We're going to have to be sort of good about this. I think we want to burn on the the leading edge of the mun is what we want to do. Maybe not the leading edge. Just past the leading edge. It's closer. That gets us crashing. Oh, well, we're going to be like pretty damn tight on the Delta V budget here, aren't we? Twenty-five is a little more aggressive than I want to be. Thirty-four seems perfect. Let's go ahead and execute that node. Bring this bad boy home. Probably be some more science I'll collect on the on the return journey. I won't record that because it's just going to be floating back. But it's good we got a lot done here. I'm gonna have to build an unmanned probe at some point. The unmanned stuff is going to be kind of a key going forward. I want to get a lot more unmanned. Uh, stuff going because it's cheaper it's you can leave it there indefinitely you don't have to worry about the return and all that stuff so we're definitely going to want to uh think about getting a pretty good communications network going it's going to be one of my next next objectives we'll have to see how much science we have by the time we return i've already beamed back probably a hundred and something science i don't know and then this is going to be worth a decent amount i could have done a bunch of eva reports and transmitted them back but it was just it's very time consuming with how we have to wait until everything's aligned to transmit and all that stuff. Let's actually re review this happening here because we don't really have a lot of corrective ability here. And well, we're we're going home. 
Perfect, 36. I, I will totally accept that. Let's go ahead and do it. So I am going to enjoy my journey back and see you when we get there. Maybe I'll do an EVA out here or something. Is this worth any science? No, it's not. Well, I'm sure we'll cross over another biome that will be worth something in a little bit. So anyway, I'm just gonna meet you on re-entry. All right, we are coming in pretty hot here, as is to be expected. So let's get ourselves figured out here. It's doing that weird shadow thing again. Uh, smart ASS, we need you. I do not need you, Kerbal Alarm Clock. Thank you. Let's, uh, trying to grab that window. There it is. Let's get rid of the custom window editor. I don't even know why that's open. Retrograde. All right. I think we're oriented correctly. Everything feels pretty good. Fingers crossed. I'll separate this stage as we kind of get close to the atmosphere here. Okay, or maybe as we get in. Let's go ahead and say goodbye. And fingers crossed. So I'm not sure exactly how much science is still on board this. There were a couple of things I could have transmitted on the ride back from the MUN. There's like a crude report from someplace on above the surface of the moon and all that stuff, but I didn't transmit it at all because I am going to be optimistic and assume that she's just going to be able to tell them in person. And so we don't need to transmit it because I wasn't going to be gathering anything else. So we'll see how that goes. All together. Hopefully the smart a ASS will be able to make sure the heat shield stays completely oriented in our path of travel. This thing's probably fairly aerodynamically stable because it's just got a few instruments on board, but I would rather be safe than sorry. Did we get a little boost or something? It seems like our periapsis went up. I wonder if we get a little bit of a boost from separating that stage or something. I don't know. Probably doesn't matter. Just a couple kilometers. I assume that we'll be good to go. Re-entries and stuff, still, like, everything in this game is still making me a lot more nervous. Like, I got to the point when I was playing a lot where spacewalks and stuff wouldn't worry me at all. I feel a little jumpy when I do them right now. I don't like doing the EVAs and stuff right now. I'm still not used to it. It still scares me. It's kind of funny, but it's true. All right, we are gaining altitude again. Hopefully we're not going around for another ride here. It's... Slightly concerning is it's still pretty damn high. I was supposed to be at that three at the 36 mark and we definitely wouldn't have skipped through the atmosphere. It doesn't really matter because we have a full electric charge and the food and stuff isn't working and even if it was tack life even if tack life support was working, we definitely have enough, but I would rather not go oh periapsis is going down again. We're losing altitude. Excellent, excellent. Well, actually, no, we're not actually losing altitude because we're still climbing, but... Come on, atmosphere. Man, that's a long time in the atmosphere, too. Is that a heat thing? No, it's just a weird graphical thing with the seam there. Heat-wise, we seem to be doing just fine. How's our ablator doing? We actually used a decent amount of it this time. Been in in the atmosphere for a long time. Oh, the atmosphere is thinning out though. I think we might be going around again. Darn it! Our calculation was off ever so slightly. I should have burned retrograde a little bit once we actually got here because I had fuel left in that. That would have been the smart thing to do. Well, we'll definitely go down the next time. I don't really like doing it in two parts, but it is what it is, I suppose. Let's. Once, well, we'll wait till we get out of the atmosphere. I'm going to turn off the uh, smart ASS so we're not killing the batteries on this thing on the way around trying to hold things when we don't need to be. 
not gonna do it till we leave the atmosphere again though because don't want to start tumbling well we don't really have any heating going on right now so the heat shield being forward isn't that important we do have a little bit of heating but see we're not exactly balanced I don't know if we were deeper in the atmosphere if that would be better or not well that's kinda I never noticed that it has the moon phase angles now that's good to know so we'll wait till we uh, clear the atmosphere here and then we'll warp around to do it again. It's going to be from almost normal orbital speeds this time, though. Won't be as scary. And away we go. Maybe we'll get to land on the in the light this time around. Who knows? Probably not. It's only going to be a couple hours of orbiting here. There's home. And we'll get ourselves going retrograde here again. Alright, fingers crossed. Should be fine. Still have plenty of ablator left. We only used about 25% of it, so I doubt we'll use much more than a few more percentage points this time around so just a matter of waiting We're starting to heat up here a little bit. The good news is our periapse is decreasing, which means that uh, we'll be going to the thicker part of the atmosphere. And at this point, it's only it's less than 400 kilometers worth of uh, altitude that we have to lose. So it's pretty impossible that we would skip this time. That does get to be a little bit of a worry when you have life support to worry about, but that is still broken. Leaving it installed just because I want to have the parts on the ships and stuff. So when it comes to be time, we will be ready. But I just want to know how much science I got. We're up to 143 there. So that's with the stuff I've transmitted back. And then this has got to be worth probably another 50 or something. This ship at least with this what's on board. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe more. All the tech is starting to get pretty darn expensive in terms of science. And I it's kind of annoying, but you know, that's how tech per the tech tree is supposed to work. Got a lot of empty nodes still. Should probably look into that. Like, uh, the community tech tree is kind of confusing. Uh, I don't know if it lists exactly what is supposed to go everywhere. I kind of wish it would tailor itself more to what you have installed. I'm not going to be installing Interstellar mod this time. I did have that in my previous save. But at this point, we just have so much mod potential. I don't want to go overboard. I'm looking at my memory right now and we're using 3,889.7 megabytes of memory so the game would have crashed in the uh, old 32-bit client so I don't want to go too crazy just because I have the memory the memory available now. CPU is only at like 17% spiking 20. I have video rendering right now using a lot more but it's nice I can run my video editor while I do this and it doesn't impact the game particularly at all. Alright, so we are officially suborbital. We have a negative periapsis, which means that we are going to be hitting the ground somewhere over here. And how's our ablator holding up? We're going to have ended up using up like 100 points of ablator by the time this is done. Not that much, probably more like... 75, but that's still a lot. Well, we've already used 75, it's so probably going to be more like 85. Kind of a lot. I uh, was saying earlier I'd never end up using up the ablator, but I think I did with my Eve probe. I, I sent a probe to Eve, and I remember the I had to do like so many 
loops around because I was trying to be really fuel efficient with that probe. It was just like a little self-landing probe basically, but I had it do so many loops around to try to bleed off as much speed as possible without using a lot of fuel. And uh, I think it did like three or four passes through the atmosphere before it finally landed. So that thing used up a pretty decent amount of its ablator. I didn't want to be overly aggressive. Well, we'll get to EVE at some point and figure that out. Things seem like they mostly handle the same as they did with the mods that I had installed, the deadly reentry and stuff. I don't know if they just took those values and used them, because it feels pretty similar. Alright, that was relatively nice that time around. Wait till we're subsonic and we'll turn off this stuff. See, it's not exactly on target here. It's not balanced perfectly. But anyway. Uh, I will meet you back at the Space Center and we'll see how much science we get when we collect this thing. A little worried. Nah, those aren't mountains tall enough. Because the parachutes are... go. Alright, so we are touching down. Go ahead and recover this bad boy get our hard-earned science back. This seems kind of fast. Oh well, it worked. Seems faster than usual. I don't know. I guess I usually have some side parachutes on because I'm doing those uh, space tourist missions with the extra capsule on there. Oh man, 220 extra science. Nice. So we're up to 365. Made a bunch of money. Just gained an XP point. So let's check out our missions first. What do we got here? Science data from around the moon. We're gonna build a new orbital station. We don't want to do that yet. That's just not gonna happen at the moment we don't have the heavy lifting capabilities that I want to deal with that build a new surface outpost on Duna not gonna happen science from the surface of the mun that would be nice that's probably achievable but this one's easier so yeah we'll accept that it's too bad it offered me that one now because we just did that but oh well so we have 365 to spend. How much are things in this price range? Those are still the 90. These are 160. So we could get a couple things from over here if we want. What is this? Actuators. I don't care. Bunch of B9 stuff. Refiner is not in a position to need that. Better fuel tanks. That's kind of high on my list is these... uh Jumbo 64 fuel tanks. Those are one of the mainstays of my launches. Bunch of smaller engines and stuff. Service module. I don't even have the... Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Start getting some of the big launches going. And better cockpits, too. We're gonna need these if we're sending stuff over to the MUN, because I'd like to send a two or three person crew. Do Apollo style, maybe? Probably not, that's more trouble than it's really worth. Anything good down here? No, no. Blank one. So I think I can just skip the blank ones, possibly, is what it's looking like. Uh, do we want any of this stuff? Big heat shield, we're definitely gonna need that. Landing strut, gonna need those. I think we're gonna have to go with the land this stuff, the landing stuff. Where are ladders in all of this? I haven't seen ladders. Oh there they are probably, right? Oh there's like all billion kinds of ladders. Well, I think what we will purchase is this. So we have more options available and then which one of these had the Rocco Max tank? This. That was just a 45. So I'll probably go gather some extra science from around the Space Center so we can buy something like that too. But at this point, that took up pretty much the whole episode. I think I'm going to call it there. So I want to thank you for watching. I'm probably going to run a similar mission to that, to the to the uh, Min Miss. I'll edit that one down a lot more when we do it next time. And I think we'll probably launch our first communication satellite next time now that we have some bigger fuel tanks and stuff too. So thanks for watching. Catch you next time.